Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for it in a car after having too much coffee. Thank you for joining me today. I, I say thank you because, well, today's a big day. It's, it's a really big day. Because it's the day that we give up on this. Not really. Uh, it, it's Ditch Your New Year's Resolutions Day. And my, if, if you haven't noticed by the more frequent uploads, is that I wanted to get back more into doing stuff in front of the camera. And this really started November last year. And at that point, I was like, you know, I had that itch. I had that creative itch of I needed to get back into doing stuff for social media. And here we are. And I didn't feel like we needed the New Year's to start it. So we just started it back then. And we've continued right on into the New Year with those wonderful New Year's resolutions. But now here we sit. On today, of the days when you are supposed to ditch your New Year's resolutions. It is Ditch Your New Year's Resolutions Day. Why is there a day for this? Why are you so, like, discouraging of my New Year's resolutions to continue to bring you whatever this is? I've had a few comments on YouTube lately that say, this would be great as a podcast. I like your intro. It's, it's like a podcast. But we had a podcast back in the day. Uh, this is not really a recreation of that. It's, this is its own thing. It's had its own origin story, as they say. But, but, but thank you. I, I appreciate the comments on YouTube. I, I appreciate anybody watching. So, if you're out there and you feel so inclined that today is the day that you need to give up your New Year's resolutions, well, it's in the title. I, I, I am part of a group, a very small group, that we're trying to, we're trying to be a little bit more fit this year, and one of us is having struggles, more so than I, I would say, and we're trying to be encouraging, but also, I, I kind of want to play good cop, bad cop with him, like, the one other person in the group is like, you know, real, real confident and go-getter, like, just, just keep going type of deal, and I want to be the bad cop. I want to be the person like, no, give up now, you're worthless. I really, I want to make that 5 a.m. phone call to somebody. And I'm sure negative feedback or negative reinforcement, is, is that the best word for it? Is not the way to go about it, but it's fun. It's all in jest. These are the group of guys that I get to, you know, josh a little bit with. And this year, you know, we decided that we're, we're, we're going to be buff and fit and lose all those extra pounds we've gained over the years. We're doing our best, you know? All that to say, I'm sticking to my New Year's resolutions. I'm not doing the of the day because I do all the other ones, you know. As I tell them, you, what they are, I definitely, I get all of them done as soon as I turn off the camera. Just like Benjamin Franklin. He got all the things done, and today we celebrate Benjamin Franklin. I'm going to go home and fly a kite in a thunderstorm, because I could just manifest a thunderstorm. I'm going to put a key on that kite. I'm going to get struck by lightning, and I'm going to celebrate Benjamin Franklin the right way by creating the United States Postal Service. 90% sure that was him. Pretty, pretty sure. History is failing me right now. But, I, I just. It's also cable car day. Uh, not, uh, ooh, do we technically consider the trolley over here in St. Louis a cable car? Is it pulled over top, right? Is that full, full scale cable car? Because today would be the day to go visit it. Because it's cable car day while you fly a kite and you give up on your New Year's resolutions. That's, that's what's happening today. And just perhaps you might be a kid and you might like inventing things because it's Kid Inventor Day. 
I, this might also be a thing to where, like, you celebrate kid inventors. It's also interesting that it goes hand-in-hand -hand with Benjamin Franklin. I don't know exact his age. I assume he did things more later in life, but that's mostly because my understanding of what Benjamin Franklin is comes from the musical 1776. Which there's going to be one of uh, uh, a, uh, a community theater doing that here close to me. I... I I, I hope to be in a 1776 production soon. Don't think I'm quite right for the Franklin role, but I look forward to being in that show again. So to that, I say, to the left, or to the right, forever to the right, never to the left, forever to the right. You gotta get the lyrics right first. Anyway. Hope you're happy, hope you're healthy. Stay safe, everyone. We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya!